What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Antoine here, back from the video. We're back with the video on the channel. In today's video, today's video is gonna be another round talk video. And today's video, of course, we're gonna be talking about you know um, a big, huge announcement that just happened a couple of days ago, um, which I had no idea about. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I was busy doing something else, you know, making other recordings in the video. Until I found out about this, which I had no idea. Um, I could not believe that this is actually happening. Um, I am very shocked about it, but also not shocked about it, considering the fact that it is a very huge, huge game in the uh, in the gaming industry, especially to these type of games. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this fan base is going to be super happy to it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm playing the trailer in the background. Um, obviously, I'm gonna, you guys are going to look at it right here, right now. Um, I'm super excited, man. I cannot wait for this game to come out in 2025. I mean, look at this, man. Just look at the trailer. Look at this. I'm going to replay it for you guys so you guys can get to see it while I talk about it. I mean, look at this. The mask. And then we get this right here. Borderlands motherfucking four. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? And it's coming out in 2025. I can't believe it. You, you, you guys are going to see it again. But, um, oh my gosh, it has been announced like a couple of days ago, which I had no idea about that Borderlands 4 is actually coming out. And of course, Gearbox, you know, software made the game, of course, along with 2K, you know, uh, uh, visual art people, they make that, they make the Borderlands series too as well. They come together as one, make the Borderlands games. Um, man, I cannot believe Borderlands 4 was going to be coming out in 2025. I, could not believe it. I, I never thought they would ever make another Borderlands game. I started giving up, like, oh, they're probably not going to make another Borderlands game. But a lot of people in the Borderlands community has been asking for Borderlands 4 for so long since Borderlands 3 was, like, a huge success, huge success. If you haven't played that game already or watched the game, I highly suggest you do those things because Borderlands 3 was pretty, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I look back at it, you know, watching the gameplay of people playing Borderlands 3. I was like, that looked like a game game of the year, like 100%. I don't know if Borderlands 3 was game of the year. I don't know if that was or was not. I don't know. But all, all I know is that, you know, Borderlands 4 is coming out and it's coming out in 2025 in a big, big way because there's another game that's coming out in uh, 2025. Well, possibly. We don't know if it's confirmed yet, but uh, it's, it's coming out. But if you know, you know, what I'm talking about is GTA 6. Obviously, it's coming out in 2025. Now, Borderlands, Borderlands 4 coming out in 2025, so that means that we have two potential Game of the Year's candidate, you know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be very, very, um, very interesting, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I ain't going to lie to you, I, I didn't grow up playing Borderlands. I never grew up playing Borderlands before. My first ever Borderlands type game that I actually played was the game was the game that I played it back then. I think it was 2022 or 2023. I can't remember. It was one of those years. Um, <clears throat> it was basically uh, Titan Tears Warland. I actually played that game, uh, Titan Tears Warland. That's a, it's a, basically a Borderlands type of game, but in the Titan Tears Warland, you know, universe. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that was my first ever Borderland type game, if you want to count that. You know what I'm saying? I, I think Titan Tears Warland is is based off of Borderlands, but it's in her universe. You know what I'm saying? It's in her land. You know what I'm saying? Her universe. She played board games, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And she making up imaginary stories, whatever, along the way, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's how I got into actually Borderlands because of Tiny Tina War because Tiny Tina, because she's my favorite character of the Borderlands series. She's super awesome. And she had her own game, which is Tiny Tina Warlands. That's how I got into playing Borderland games. And that's why I'm so hyped for Borderlands War, because of Tiny Tina Warlands the game. I played it, I create my character, you know, the nerd the nerd himself, Raymond Thomas. And uh, we, we took off with the character. I played with my friend um, uh, in the, uh, during that time after the game came out recently, like years later, um, and um, it was a blast. I enjoyed the Tiny Tears Warland. The only issue I had with it was the story, and then there were some of the glitches that was going on in the game that 2K and, and Gearbox software refused to like acknowledge or fix whatever, but it is what it is because at the end of the day, I enjoyed that game. It was pretty fun. It's even better if you play with your friends, you know, saying Tiny Tears Warlands. Um, but that bomb being biased though, because obviously that was my first era Borderlands game. I really haven't tried out I really haven't tried out Borderlands one, two, or three. I know some of you guys are gonna be asking me, you should try out those try out those games. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna try out Borderlands one, two, or three. You know, I already know they, they look pretty awesome, but I'm not gonna do that though. I I'm gonna wait until Borderlands four when it comes out. 
in 2025. That's the game where I will be 100% be playing. I mean, literally, that's what I we, that's what I'm so hyped for. Is Borderlands 4. A lot of people, including myself, has been asking for Borderlands 4. I mean, it would be shocking if they end up Borderlands 3 just like that. They cut the series off. I mean, Titan Tears Borderlands. I'm not gonna lie. Some people did not like it. Some people did like it. Some people had some crucial, you know. Uh, uh, you know, um, you know, um, how should I say there's some good and bad about the game about Titan Tales Borderland, how it led a really bad taste in some people's mouths in, in the uh, Borderlands commu- community, which is understandable because you know it has ups, it has its downs. If I may have a review video talking about Titan Tales Borderland, how it was good, how it was bad. Um, even though the game was fun, it could be better, you know what I'm saying, but uh. With Borderlands 4, it looks like it's going to be very, very, very fun. Way more fun than Tiny Tears Borderlands for sure. I mean, I mean, obviously, like I said, I played my first era of Borderlands game was Tiny Tears Borderlands, and I didn't play Borderlands one, two, or three. And um, I wish I did, but and I could do if I really want to, but I'm not going to because you know, obviously, Borderlands four has been announced, so I'm gonna wait till Borderlands four to play that. Uh, and get the really, really good, you know, Borderlands feeling, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, so Borderlands 3, I could tell you it could be, it was really good. And Borderlands 4, I hope and pray, cross my fingers, that it'll be really, really good too as well. To a point where it, it could it could compete for, you no know, game of the year, you know what I'm saying? So, of the of 2025, um, I can't believe it, man. I can't believe they actually announced Borderlands 4. I was shocked. I thought we would have to wait maybe another couple of years for it to be, like, announced. and and I never thought, oh, and I started losing hope. I thought that we would never get Borderlands 4. But then we finally got it because, well, obviously the movie came out, the Borderlands movie came out. Of course, they were going to advertise that into, you know, potentially advertising Borderlands 4. So it makes sense for the movie to come out first. Then they they create Borderlands 4 and the skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? And, and some people might, some, some people have some theories about how the movie, how the movie, the Borderlands movie was not so great. So they figure, how not, why not just make Borderlands 4 and, you know, skyrocket that one. Some people have their theories about that one. The movie was okay. It was not too bad, but, you know, um, I mean, it, there was there was some characters that they do really need to get their shit together when it comes to Borderlands. I don't know. The Borderlands movie, it could have been done better, you know what I'm saying, in my personal opinion. Um, but no, let's go. I think they, the reason why they did this, announced Borderlands 4, is because they want to market out of it. Obviously... They realized that the Borderlands movie was going to be, was super over marketed, and they figured why not market out of that to market the game that's going to be coming out, which is Borderlands Four, which makes sense because obviously the movie comes out first. It gets people hyped about potentially maybe a Borderlands Four, you know what I'm saying? Get people like have their hopes up, and then next you know Borderlands Four comes out. I mean, they came up with the movie, so it makes sense for them to come out with the game. I mean, that's how certain games, um. You know, when it comes to movie games, they do make they do announce the the actual game that's gonna be coming out uh, after the movie of the franchise, whatever. You know, what I'm saying that, that, that's just me. And it's a good marketing speech. You know, what I'm saying good market mar- good marketing strategy because I would have done that too as myself. So uh, it would make sense. That's how I think why Borderlands Four was announced because the movie they figured why not make so much money off the movie and then now let's go make so much money out of Borderlands Four and announce that one. That way we get people hyped about it. I mean, the whole point of Borderlands 4 literally was the hype for, you know, for the movie. Obviously, the movie was hyped for the Borderlands 4 series, which, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? I think, like I said, overall, I really think the reason why they announced Borderlands 4 is because, obviously, they want to hype that up just like they did with the movie. They hyped up Borderlands the movie. And um, now with that, that's going to lead to hyping up Borderlands 4. Even, which is a lot of people has been asking for for so damn long, and uh, not the movie, not the movie. I don't know who asked. For, I don't know who asked for the movie. Maybe the, some of you guys in the Borderlands community asked for the movie. Me personally, I want. I want to see Borderlands Four. I mean, Borderlands Three was great. I don't see why not bring Four. You know what I'm saying? Why not let it fly? Let Let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's see what Gearbox Software and 2K. Let's see what they could do with Borderlands Four, or, or if they want to create Borderlands Four, which they did. Uh, which they announced it, of course. It's going to be coming out in 2025. And I think it's only going to be coming out on the next-gen consoles, only on Xbox Series. Oh, wait, I think it's coming out on PlayStation. I don't know. We're going to wait and see, look at it, wait and see. But no, last though, man, I'm so excited for this, man. Um, I think the story of Borderlands 4 is going to take place after the events of Borderlands 3. So if you haven't played Borderlands 3 or watch it, 
I highly suggest you go ahead and, and watch Borderlands 3, a uh, whole entire event, before playing Borderlands 4, which I'm probably going to go back and watch the Borderlands 3, you know, series and all type of stuff to get a glimpse of, of the... Uh, uh, what really happened in Borderlands 3 that is now leading to Borderlands 4 because based off Borderlands 4, it's going to be based off of Borderlands 3 and what happened towards the event of that story. So, um, yeah, I got to keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, so Borderlands 4 uh, is coming out in PlayStation 5. Yeah, okay, so it's coming out in the new new gen, new, new gen consoles uh, on PlayStation 5, on Xbox uh, Series X and S, um, and on PC, of course, Epic Games PC and all that. So, um, yeah, Borderlands 4 is only, only coming out in the next-gen consoles. So, uh, for the old-gen consoles, you're not going to get Borderlands 4. I'm sorry for the PS4 players and the Xbox One players. You're not going to get those. Um, Xbox, Seri Xbox Series X and X. I mean, e Xbox Series X and S and PS5. Uh, PC, Epic Games, you know, store players. Uh, we're going to get Borderlands 4. If you have those, then... Uh, you should be ready to go. So, um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for this, man. I, oh man, I think me after me playing Tiny Tears Borderlands, I'm not gonna lie, it got me more excited for what's gonna be happening, um, in, Bor in Borderlands Four. Um, like I said, Tiny Tears Borderlands was my first ever Borderlands type game. So, and for all the Borderlands community, you gotta cut me some slack. I, I really haven't truly experienced the Borderlands Borderlands series, and I heard it was really good. Based off the gameplays I saw with Borderlands 1, 2, or 3, it looks really good. So, um, can't wait for 4. Can't wait for me to actually experience Borderlands in a whole new way in 2025. It's going to be very awesome. I'm so excited for this. Um, the only thing I can say about this, well, the, oh, this multiple questions. One, is this going to be crossplay? Hopefully so. That would be awesome. Uh, two, this is the biggest one. Are we going to, you know, create our characters? For Borderlands 4, if that's the case, you know who's what's who's coming back. You know the nerd himself, Raymond Thomas, is gonna come back if we get if we if 2K and Gearbox allow us to create characters. If that's the case for Borderlands 4, I will recreate, you know, Raymond Thomas, you know, the, the nerd himself. If not, if we had to choose specific characters for us to you know play with, because I do remember Borderland in Borderlands series. You get to choose different type of character you, you can play with as that's involving the Borderlands, you know, uh, game. Um, if that's the case, I hope and pray that Tiny Tina is in the fucking game. I hope and pray. I hope we can play her as a character. That a way that I can play as her, you know what I'm saying? Um, that would re really be awesome if I play as Tiny Tina, War uh, Tiny Tina you know what I'm saying, in uh, Borderlands 4. That would be awesome because I do believe in Borderlands uh, series. I would think almost everyone from one to three, you get to play as you know, select your you know the characters you want to play as in the series rather than create one. I believe so. Um, so I think they're going to give us that option. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. But um, I think it's probably going to be the same thing where we got to you know we have to choose choose specific characters we want to play as um, in the uh, in Borderlands Four. Um, I don't know if we got the ability to create a character. If we do that, you know, Raymond Thomas can come back. So who knows? I don't know. Uh, we're going to wait and see um, about the blog post, about blog, whatever, whatever they want us to ask questions or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Either we're going to create the last, that's the two things I want. Either cross, cross play, we're going to cr cross play or not. Or are we going to have the ability to create our own characters in the game? Or we got to select the characters that's going to be uh, that's that's in a Borderlands type of series uh, um, in the game to you know choose off of that. Uh, whatever the case may be, um, I'll be down for whatever. You know, what I'm saying that's the only two things that come across my mind. So, um, so uh, yeah, man. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think there's none, nothing else to say. You know, what I'm saying. Of course, you guys already know I'm going to be playing Borderlands Four. Um, I'm, of course, I'm going to play trophy for the game, so you know it's going to be a a really really long. Long quest was gonna be a very fun one because I have I had a blast playing Tiny Tina's World Land. Even though some people had ups and downs of the game, including myself, I had a fun. I had a blast. It was hard to plow show for that game, but it was so fun with the with the whole time fighting and all type of stuff. And uh, I, I hope they they keep that ball rolling in Borderlands Four and see if we go from there. And uh, and that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm super excited for it. Cannot wait for 2025. 
that gaming of 2025 is is going to be so 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 much better in 2024 games and and 2024, 2024 games is already good man but once we get to the 2025 marks all these games are coming out oh it's going to get crazy man we already got gta 6 coming out and possibly in 2025 if they don't delay it until 2026 but only time will tell borderlands 4 coming out in 2025 guarantee hopefully they don't delay that one and it's gonna be very awesome so um yeah i think that's pretty much it i ain't got nothing to say man thank you for watching Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about Borderlands 4 being announced coming into 2025. Uh, what your thoughts and opinions on it? I'm super excited for it. You guys already know I'm going to buy it, play it, play out trophy it, and then go from there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll get about here. As always, take care of my own. Peace. Nice.